Hey guys, welcome back. I got a, I'm still waiting on parts for my dual point. I don't know what's going on with them with Rock Auto. Uh, but I, uh, in the, in the course of this dual point thing, I've been, uh, thinking about the, uh, the issues that people have been having with the points and, you know, just basic electrical, electronic stuff. Um, but the, uh, the condensers, capacitors, uh, seem to be a problem. And I, I guess, uh, from what I, I, I read something, uh, on the internet about, about these new capacitors and they're, uh, they're not sealed as good as the old ones. I don't know about the material inside. I know that it's like a, it's almost like aluminum foil inside wound around. Uh, and you know, you know what the capacitors do. They just take up the excess voltage and then shoot it back in when the, when the, uh, when the points close, um, and when they're bad, you, you get arcs everywhere and your engine just runs really, really crappy. Um, but I, I'm going back to something that, um, uh, a buddy of my father who he was a, uh, he was a mechanic, uh, for Chrysler, uh, John J. Collins, Chrysler Plymouth way back in the day. And, if you don't have any major older equipment, the old oscilloscopes or anything like that to, to test your ignition system, um, the uh, the good old analog multimeters work great. Uh, you can ground you can ground your uh, Don't don't use your fingers. Put it on a put it on a something not conductive, uh, and use your black lead on the body. Use the red one on the lead, uh, and you'll see the needle jump just very very slightly. It's not going to be anything. You know, it's not going. If it does go all the way down, then you've got an overload, and uh, the, it's definitely no good. But as long as the needle just just pops up just a little bit, like probably like less, just a couple just a couple of uh, uh, notches up on the uh, on the scale, and then goes right back down immediately, it's a good condenser. There's nothing wrong with it. Now I just tested this this old one, this old one for a dual point. Uh, this is one from uh, a radio suppressor that goes on a coil. They're all good. And they're probably, this is probably 50 years old. This one here, this, this could be 20, 30, 40 years old. I don't know. But they're all good. This one, same thing. It's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good, uh, condenser. Um, but your meter will tell you, uh, if they're good or not. Um, it's, it's really simple. So with, uh, other people have been saying about, you know, going to wrecking yard or, or, or whatever, uh, finding old cars and, and taking, taking them off, go ahead, check them with your analog multimeter. You can, you can do it with a digital, but they're kind of, kind of weird, uh, so basically what it's doing is it's, uh, it's showing you that it's it's pulling the electricity through and then it's cutting off. And then if you do it again, you could just swap the sides. You don't have to go through all that uh, charging it up or anything like that or discharging it or, or whatever. Just swap your leads and it'll do the same thing. Uh, you'll see that, like I said, the needle will just bounce up a little bit and then right back immediately. And that's all it takes to test uh, the uh, the condensers again. Uh, I, I guess that they're not sealed very well today. They're not made very well. They're not in demand anymore. Um, so what I'm going to try is when I use a new one like like this one, I'm going to just see if I can get a little bit of uh, something. Uh, even if it's just maybe Elmer's glue or something, just put it right around here to seal any moisture out of it. Uh, or silicone. I'll probably use silicone. Um, and I guess that's what part of the issue is with these. It's, uh, 
you know, just due to, we don't drive these cars every day like back in the old days. Some people do. Most people don't. I don't. Um, uh, I would rather drive it than even my Ram pickup, but uh, it's just not, uh, it's just not what I do. And, uh, but try it out. Try to test them. Use it. I use, you know, I have both meters. I have a digital and I have this, this analog one. Uh, there's nothing that you have to read as long as you see the, as long as you see the needle bounce up just slightly, very, very slightly and bounce right back down again to zero, you're good. Uh, it's not an open loop or an overload or anything like that. Uh, you know, like when you, when you cross the, uh, your probes or you touch it on the, the same, uh, the same terminal or the same, uh, body on these, uh, but it'll bounce up very very slightly and then bounce right back down again and the condenser is good it can be reused uh, I'm probably going to end up reusing these at some point because there's nothing wrong with them so that's that but uh, thanks for watching guys 